What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Big Tuna here again with you, and it's a, uh, it's a tough day to be a Raiders fan today. A really tough day to be a Raiders fan today. And, um, I mean, you had to think that the team was going to, you know, be a little bit worse off against the Broncos compared to against the Browns. Um, but we didn't expect this, ladies and gentlemen. This was complete embarrassment. This was an absolute joke. And I think, like most Raiders fans, I am really upset that the season is going this way because I didn't, I didn't see it going this way. Because... Guys, we need a quarterback bad. We need a quarterback bad. And I just don't think that we have the answer on our roster. And I think that's a dumb statement to make because I think everybody knows that. But Gardner Minshew has shown glimpses of good and glimpses of great. But sometimes, like yesterday, that pick six and four, like, come on, Bowers was wide open. It might not have been a touchdown, but still, I mean, come on, Gardner. I know that the NFL's tough and all that stuff. And listen, he's he's not being paid like a real starter. He's only getting, I think, 15, 15 or 20. So it's like, okay, you know, other guys are spending 60, 50, 60 million dollars on their quarterback. We're only spending 20. Yeah, but that's because we had to pay guys like Devontae Adams and a couple other contracts that are about to expire. Um, so I think they didn't get too deep into that because, you know, just didn't have the, uh, didn't have the right situations for any of that. So, the quarterback play was poor. Aiden O'Connell ended up coming in after, you know, just a, a abysmal, abysmal, uh, you know, second and third quarter by uh, Gardner Minshew, which made him lose his uh, start for the day. Um, you know, the crazy thing is the Raiders, they went up 10 nothing, And it was 10-3, and we had a chance for it to be 17-3. But the problem is, Sertan caught that interception and scored, and that changed everything. I didn't think it would change it this drastically, where the team just stop playing it looked like um you know and and, and 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 more than anything it's like it's the broncos like it's the broncos folks they're not that good and for them to put 30 it's it's embarrassing that bo nicks who at one point had like negative yardage in passing one of them, that he won uh against the jets um who we found out now are not a good team it's just it's it's, it's and the short stick, you know, they're just not a good team this year. Um, I know with Aaron Rodgers being there and all that, it's it's a difference, but I, uh, yeah, no, they're they're not a good team this year. Uh, they'll make the playoffs, I believe, but it's going to be tough for them to get the Super Bowl like something. It is what it is. You know, they're just they're older. Rodgers is still learning the offense, and uh, I guarantee you he probably comes back for another year because of how piss poor this season has begun. Maybe it gets better for him, but uh, I don't see it. Um, but for the Raiders to allow that guy, Bo Nix, and that team to score 38 points out of both 31, um, unacceptable. It's unacceptable. That's the word. The Raiders' loss today was unacceptable. I will not accept that Raiders' loss because where'd the defense go? I mean, once Christian Wilkins was ruled out, it was like, you know, it's like these guys don't have any heart or don't want to step up for the next man than when he's down, you know? And the sad part is, I love guys like Adam Butler, John Jenkins, you know, Robinson. You, know, you, know, you got that stupid penalty in the half. That's not a thing. That halftime bullshit. You miss the kick and you do leverage. And they get a free kick and they kick. That's when I knew this is not going to be in the Raiders' guard. 
words here because that was just the chintziest thing and they end up, you know, kicking the field goal again and making it. You know, but back to the defensive line, I've seen a lot of hustle out of those guys like, uh, you know, Adam Butler and John Jenkins. You know, a lot of the younger guys are stepping up playing bigger roles, which I like to see. Uh, rookies as well, you know, Brock Bowers is he's doing pretty damn good. Jackson Powers, he's okay, but he's starting. You know, he's, he's had some penalty issues, but it is what it is. But the rookie class is looking okay this year. DJ Glaze has been playing um, because of the injury to Thayer Mumford. So, it's been a... It's, we're a young team, but I'm sick and tired of making excuses for these guys. Aren't you? Aren't you, Raider Nation? It's, it's unfair as a fan base for us to never, ever get anything worthwhile. Now, granted, next week that could all change. Uh, you know, if we win. But I don't see this team winning many more if they play like that. And I think that's an understatement. And um, the, the problem is, too, is that I don't even know if the quarterbacks are that good coming out of the draft. So, you know, it's going to be a very interesting offseason draft for the Raiders because I think their main goal should be, you know, try to replace Devontae if you can. And for a cheaper guy that could probably do a number one slash one B kind of role, um, you know, because I figured Myers would be the number one guy um, if he stays with the team. And um, then you got, you know, Trey Tucker, who's turning into a pretty good player. DJ Turner, you know, but still, it's it's, it's we're thin at wide receiver with Devontae Adams being injured and no longer being with the team. And, and Boyd Bayage, you know, it's like, dude, Max Crosby sat out of week two. He's back. He got two sacks. He's still a world beater. Where are you at, Tay? Where are you? I know you're hurt, but we got to hear from you. I mean, he said a few things here and there, but let's let's get down to the nitty-gritty here. I wish you would be honest about what the hell is going on because all these rumors and stuff are making you look like a big old douche. And that's the truth. But, yeah, I keep going off on tangents, I'm sorry. But, yeah, the effort, you know, the first quarter looked great. Brock Bowers did a great job. Uh, catching a long touchdown pass from Gardner Minshew over 57 yards. I believe that's Brock's first touchdown of the year. First ever touchdown, which is really cool. Um, and tight ends, too. What's going on with Michael Mayer? That's another week without him because of personal issues. Are you telling me that this tight end, second year tight end, might be sitting out because he's not getting the ball enough? You're a second year tight end. Someone got drafted that's a lot better than you. And I also think that he's going to get more reps than he would have ever gotten with Devontae Adams leaving because Brock Bowers will more than likely be spread out everywhere. You know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how that all develops. And I hope Michael Mayer's okay, but I, I just don't like seeing someone leaving for personal reasons at more than one week. You know, I hope everything's okay, but still, it makes me think that he's... Uh, He's not coming back to the team, and that's, uh, that sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, the first quarter was great, and then after that, in the second quarter, it just went downhill from there, and I'm talking about way down. I'm talking about we lost to the goddamn Broncos 38-18, ladies and gentlemen, a team that we've beaten so many years in a row, easily, you know, it's... Cream has risen to the top for me on getting a quarterback. I am sick and tired of them getting these Rennet quarterbacks. We need to get a franchise guy. I wish that the Redskins took the three picks, first round picks for Jaden Daniels, because he probably would have been great for us, but knowing us, we probably would have ruined him anyway. But, yeah, I mean, once Gardner Minshew's performance went downhill, it was just bad news. Sorry about that, folks. It's just bad news bears for everybody when Gardner Minshew is, is uh, jumpy, as I like to say. 
And they brought in O'Connell. He threw an interception. Of course, you know, it was just a bad game overall. You know, we possibly are going to lose Christian Wilkins for some time, which is, you know, Jesus. And he got a sack yesterday, which was great, but now his foot's bothering him. And it's like, wow. You know, because our defense was supposed to be the staple, all right? And we've lost Coons. We lost Crosby for a week. We're about to lose Wilkins for a little while. We've lost Epps for the year. Um, I'm sure there's more injuries on the like Devonshire as it has been played. Um, you know, it's just, we got a young team with a lot of guys that have potential to be good. But right now, they are getting demoralized by teams. And I don't blame them one bit for thinking one kind of way about playing for the Raiders because I would think the same thing. Because it's like, does this team even try to win? I mean, is it, you know, it's almost like, okay, so the Raiders are probably going to go like 7 and 9 this year. We're 6 and, six and 11. And we're going to get like the 10th pick and get the worst quarterback out of the bunch. You know, it's it sucks because. I know Antonio Brown's mentality, Antonio, I'm sorry, Antonio Pierce's mentality, and that is we're playing every game like it's the Super Bowl, and, and I get that, and they got to have that mentality already because they're way back in the division and have a very minimal chance of making the playoffs. Um, I still hold out hope, but who the hell knows? Um, yeah, it's just chunk plays, bad coverages. Uh, minimal pass rush. Tyree Wilson again has been, you know, non-existent, which just sucks. Because I know that he's not 100%. Again, he got hurt in the first series of the first game, so we're not getting 100% Tyree Wilson. And I hate to say it, I don't know if he's going to be a bust. I don't know. But the problem is, is that when you saw where he came from, when the college at Texas Tech. Big 12 school now. Yeah, still Big 12. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to be a big believer in that because the Big 12 has never been known for great defensive players, especially Texas Tech. I mean, Oklahoma, Texas, all those guys have had great defensive players no matter their college. But Texas Tech, you know, I'm, I'm sure there are, but I haven't heard of many great defensive players that don't come out of there because they're that, you know, the Chuck and Duck defense, you know, their offense. So. But, yeah, just a demoralizing loss to the, to the Broncos. And, and, and just so sad for the Raiders fans. And I just wish that the team would just find a way to step it up. I mean, uh, it begins in the trenches. And right now, our offensive line, which was good last year, is shit this year. And our defensive line, who was supposed to be a world beater, can't be because half the fucking line is hurt. It's unbelievable. We've gotten hit with the injury bug, which we never usually do. And we're getting just lambasted with these injuries. And it's and it's just it's bad, guys. And like I said, next week we'll see what happens. But right now, we're not happy. And I think Antonio Pierce might know that. And I'm going to watch press conferences and stuff today just to check it out. And, uh, yeah, so... See you guys next Monday, or Tuesday, or Sunday, because of Georgia. But, just another video of me venting how upsetting it is to be a Raiders fan as they lose to the Donkeys, 38-18. Have a good rest of your day, folks. Be good people.